Everyone, welcome Lexi back to the kitchen here on Ben's Menu. She's from Best Mill. You all know her. When she comes in, she teaches me heaps. What are you going to teach me today, Lexi? Well, today, Ben, we're going to do a healthy veggie tart. Healthy? Okay, there is lots of vegetables there. There so is lots of vegetables. If you yes. can make that taste good, I'll be very happy. Okay, well, we're going to start off with some phyllo pastry, so exactly. I'll just hand that to you. And um, today we're going to use a different style of our cookware. I've mainly been using the classic cookware, which has got the straight sides on it. But this one we're using today is what we call our country kitchen. So can you see how that's more rounded on the sides? Yep. So the same size frying pan as the one that I had um, previously cooked the Chelsea bun in but it's just a different shape. So this is a good pan that people often like to make things like, um, you know, doing a stir fry vegetables in, um, you know, doing um, different types of quiches or frittatas, that sort of thing, it's really handy for that. The healthy reason of this one is that instead of brushing the sheets with melted butter, we're going to use yogurt, natural yogurt, okay, to keep it moist because that stops the pastry from flaking when we put it in the pan. So while I'm doing that, we need to beat up um, our eggs. Done. So if you'd like to do that while I'm basting this, I'm doing a paint job. So I've got six oh, no. whole eggs. So the beauty of this is that often too, when you're making your, um, using phyllo pastry in the oven, you have to do every sheet. But in your Bessemer, even when you aren't making a healthy one and you want to use the butter, and I'm using phyllo, I often just butter out the base of the pan, and that's all I use. That's it. So we're just going to pop I'm whisking these? Yes, please. Yes. We're just going to pop this in different directions. I'm making a bit of a thing with some stuff. So in with our eggs, Lexi, what else? Okay, so in with the eggs, we're going to put the ricotta. So then you just add the curry powder into that mixture, please, Ben. Yep. So we've almost got our layers. So once we've done that, then we're just going to add all our vegetables. So we can just tip in these. So we've got some grated zucchini. So we try to use three different uh, sorts of vegetables. So you can change this to something else if you don't like these ones that we're using today. But these ones do tend to mix well together. And some corn that we'll put in, and the onion. Okay, so we've just stirred that through, and now we're just gonna pour that mixture over the top. There you go, let's see. Scrape that out for you. You need every little drop. Thank you. You're welcome. And then we just spread that around so that all everything gets soaked in. And yes, then we're just going to put a lovely little bit of Parmesan cheese on. There's no such thing as too much Parmesan cheese on me. Mm, it smells beautiful. Done. Wonderful. So then we're just going to bring up our little sides of the pastry and just roll it down into the pan. Now the only difference is when you're doing your uh, phyllo in your Bessemer, in the oven, the whole part of this would go brown mm -hmm. but remember what we've talked about before where the food touches the side of the pan that's how it browns so we will get this not quite so golden on the folded bits but all around the sides and on the bottom will be that way so if you wanted to you could pop on the grill yep and just yeah just slide it under the grill and give it that brown effect so i'm just going to brush a little bit um, of the yogurt just around just so that these don't dry up too much on the sides. So that's basically it that we have to do. Tell. Thank you. And again, my little trick, I always like to make sure that the edges of the pan are clean before I put the lid on. And with the lids, if you have a look at it, it's non-stick coating on the inside, but we've left the rim. So if you do leave bits on the rim, uh -huh. it's going to cook on and actually have to get in the sink and do some cleaning. So we don't want that. So if you wipe it off, nothing's Save. going to stick. Saving Pop yourself the lid on, some cleaning. Saving yourself some cleaning. So this is a dish that we would normally do in the oven. Yep. So again, we'd have to go for our little bump. Over Make sure oven, over open. Over oven over open. Make sure that the little opening is in line with the bump on the lid, and we're going to pop it onto your medium heat. Our non-stick coatings do not like high heat on them. They dry out. They'll eventually um, blister, just like our skin, so they need to be looked after. So we put it on a medium. We allow for that heat to travel across the pan, over to the top of the lid, and once again, we do that touch hot test, which is really equivalent to a moderate oven. So once you've reached that touch hot, then we can turn it down to a bit lower temperature, and that's when you start timing your food, uh -huh. not when you first put it on. Okay. So this veggie tart should take about 20 to 25 minutes, approximately. So that's 20 to 25 minutes from touch hot? From touch hot, yeah. 
Now there was a little trick to finish that off, Lexi. What did you do? Okay, so what we did then, we just slid it out of the pan, just popping your spatula underneath, guide it out, pop it on a plate, and just give it a quick zap under the grill to get that lovely golden brown look on the top. It's hard to believe that's healthy. I know, and it tastes good.